There was a curious sight at last night's Trump rally in Tampa. The letter Q was everywhere, on signs, on T-shirts. So what the heck is Q? It's a network of conspiracy theorists, also known as QAnon. Today's Washington Post calls it a deranged conspiracy cult. Some of Q's wildest conspiracy theories, Democrats and Hollywood celebrities are operating a child sex ring. And special counsel Robert Mueller is not actually investigating the Trump campaign. He's really investigating Hillary Clinton. Roseanne Barr has made reference to QAnon in her tweets. Tell QAnon to direct message me in the next 24 hours. Now Q is showing up at Trump rallies. They have this idea that Trump is, you know, the, there's going to be this thing called the storm in which Trump sort of sweeps away their enemies. It's like the Q, you knew I was coming. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders made a crack about Q at today's press briefing, but then she got serious. Well, the president encouraged the support of people who showed up last night in these QAnon fringe groups. The president condemns and denounces any group that would uh, incite violence against another individual. It got pretty wild in Tampa for another reason, as the packed crowd turned on CNN's Jim Acosta. You're going to hear uh, some folks here, I think, uh, letting their feelings be known at this rally here in Tampa. They yelled abuse at him on live TV as he delivered his report. So you're hearing some of the insults being hurled at this right now. I've been talking to some of these folks this evening, even though they're uh, being pretty negative towards us right now. Acosta tried to make peace, posing for photos and chatting with them. He later posted this tweet. I'm very worried that the hostility whipped up by Trump will result in somebody getting hurt. We should not treat our fellow Americans this way. The press is not the enemy.